good afternoon. Hopefully everybody's seeing me right now. Um, Steve Harvey said, right? I'm not even gonna start off with the whole. I'm just gonna start where I start. Steve Harvey is a man that's lived a lot of years, and I realized that the more life you live, the more experience you've had. You might not be a smart man, but you have wisdom, right? Now, in the case of Steve Harvey, man, I I, I respect that big brother. You know what I mean? You know. And he has a saying that I like to remember, remind myself of. He said, when you're going through hell, go through hell, but do not remain there. Don't linger there. Don't live there. You know, and even Eckhart Tolle, he said, whatever you're going through, man, just let it wash over you, man. Let Just experience it. Go through it. Because once you, when you don't go through it, you're going to have to repeat it. Repeat the cycle. You deny that you are, that are depressed. And you act like you're, you're okay. That depression is still there. In the case of Jasse Onfroy, a.k.a. Triple X Dentacion. Today is a bittersweet day. Last year was rough. Last year was, you know, it was the first year without him. But this year, I didn't say the reality didn't set in before, but it's it's soaking in. It's bittersweet. You know, and I thought I would have been, I don't know, for lack of better words, further ahead as far as in my process of even at morning you know but each day brings what it brings you know but I nevertheless I'm still thankful I hope y'all are doing good today too man I hope y'all are appreciating life I hope y'all are appreciating life and you know and also remembering my son y'all still remember that you all are life health strength you know and and remembering your neighbors and your friends who are going through what they're going through because 2020 has been a rough year it's been a trying year it's been a year of change it's been a tumultuous year you name the adjective it's been that negatively and positively but above all else, we still have life, right? I just want to thank you all for the the kind words, all the the well wishes. I, I, I want to say thank you. I don't have a speech planned. I wasn't really gonna come on live because I haven't been on here for a while. But I just felt it fitting to really tell y'all thanks in person. You know, I thank you all for keeping my son's memory alive. I mean, genuinely, I know y'all ain't doing this just because y'all fan chasing. I know y'all are genuinely affected by this young man. And I am thankful. I am grateful. Because I'm learning a lot through you all each and every day about the young man who bears my name and my face. You know, the young father who never got a chance to see his son. I am thankful. Two years ago, around another, around an hour and a half ago, is when I found out that Jose Dwayne Ricardo Onfro will no longer be on this earth. You know, my brethren Clive. You know, shout out to Clive White, my big brother. You know, he called me and he's like, yo, is it true? I say, it's what true? And he's like, um, I heard your son got shot and he's dead. I said, man, people always spreading rumors all the time, man. You know what? Let me make some phone call. I'm going to call you back. I, it, it ain't true. 
So I called Cleo. And her phone rang, no answer. I called Deandra, no answer. At this time, I think Deandra and I were, uh, you know, on the outs. We weren't, we weren't even conversing. So when Deandra called me back, the fact that she called me back when everything is going on, I knew something was up. You know, she called me back and she's like, um, you know, Jose got shot, but he's in surgery. I said, nah. I heard he's dead. And I think she broke down. A lot has happened since you... Since you left this earth, young man, a lot has happened, man. A lot has transpired. The family and I are at odds. You know? A lot of things are in the public eye. The things that are supposed to unite us has, has divided us. And it's sad. It's sad that, you know, what you wanted, you're not yet seeing. You wanted your aunts and your grandma and your moms and everybody to and your brother Corey and everybody to live in close proximity, even to live together. And now how things are right now, everybody's at each other's throats. You know, um, your life is being celebrated by this clan over here and this section over there. Your memory's been celebrated separately. We're not celebrating together. But nevertheless, young man, your message is getting across. You nevertheless make you are affecting millions in a positive way. And I'm sure even though we are no we are no longer on speaking terms with each other, we still have a mutual love for you. You know, you are still the common bond. I just got on here, man, to say, you know, I'm appreciative, I'm thankful, I'm kind of rough today, just got up, you know, I woke up about another, about 15 minutes ago, but that's it, um, I am thankful, I'm appreciative to y'all, not gonna stay long, not gonna waste your time, because I really don't have much to say right now, you know, just want to say thank you, again and again. Alright. Peace and blessings upon y'all man.